in a lot of people, so it'll be okay. You know, the hard part is just like that, but I can't do anything about that. You know, get over it.
Matt, you look good YouTube to see my work. It's an exciting day. It is. What? <laughs> no, we started doing that recently. Uh, whenever they ask for recordings of their events and stuff, we record them and then we upload them to a YouTube channel. Yeah. And we send them over. Yeah. It's perfect. It worked perfectly. <laughs> Are you recording, by the way? Are you recording on here? I just remember Kirk said they hit the Hey, Kirk. Oh, did, oh, you did? Hold on. You, did you record this morning? Should I record? Uh, yeah, we might as well. Okay. I did not. I forgot to. I had set up, but I didn't push the button. If I can go ahead and start it now, we can turn it. All you do is just hit start. Okay. Yeah, it should have a light up here. Are you seeing? Yeah, it was, it, it, was like a, it was the middle of uh, Winter's speech when I finally said, oh, it's not recording. So I'm like, no. So is this supposed to be, wait. Oh, there's one here recording for the man streaming. It's not having to record. The record light is still streaming. Right, because we're not recording the stream. Right.
again. to the May 2019 commencement of West Texas A&M University. I'm Wade Schaefer, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, and it is my pleasure to introduce the administrators, the faculty, and the May 2019 graduates of West Texas A&M University. May graduation is too large to accommodate all of our graduates and all of their friends and families at one time, so we have three ceremonies today. This afternoon's ceremony includes graduates from the Paul and Virginia Engler College of Business and the Paul Engler College of Agriculture and Natural Sciences. The Sybil B. Harrington College of Fine Arts and Humanities and the College of Nursing and Health Sciences held their ceremony this morning at 10 o'clock, while the College of Education and Social Sciences and the School of Engineering, Computer Science, and Mathematics will conduct their commencement ceremony at 6 p.m. The processional will commence shortly. The platform party, including our university president, will process first. The president will be immediately preceded by the university's mace, which is carried this afternoon by Dr. Bonnie Pendleton, professor of agriculture. Following the platform party will be the college administrators and faculty, the college deans, the associate deans, department heads, professors, associate professors, assistant professors and instructors. The students will then follow graduate students first, then undergraduates. Ladies and gentlemen, the May 2019 graduation ceremony for West Texas A&M University.
Please rise and join Dr. Robert Hansen, Regents Professor of Music and Director of the School of Music, as he leads us in the singing of the National Anthem. Many in the platform party will be introduced as their duties arise this afternoon, but please allow me to introduce the rest of the platform party at this time. Dr. Angela Spaulding, Vice President for Research and Compliance and Graduate Dean. Mr. Mike Knox, Vice President for Student Enrollment Engagement and Success. Dr. Todd Raspberry, Vice President for Philanthropy and Alumni Relations. Dr. Brad Johnson, Vice President for Strategic Relations. Ms. Tana Miller, Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management and University Registrar. Dr. Pam Lockwood, Associate Dean of the School of Engineering, Computer Science and Mathematics and Director of the Atterbury Honors Program, who will be presenting awards to graduates of our honors programs. The deans of our academic colleges, Dr. Kevin Pond, Paul Engler College of Agriculture and Natural Sciences. Dr. Neil Terry, the Paul and Virginia Engler College of Business. Dr. Eddie Henderson, the College of Education and Social Sciences. Dr. Emily Hunt, the School of Engineering, Computer Science, and Mathematics. Dr. Jessica Maller, the Sybil B. Harrington College of Fine Arts and Humanities. And Dr. Dirk Nelson, the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Today, 1,380 individuals will receive their academic degrees. The The oldest graduate is 68 years of age. And the youngest is 19. More than 660 of these graduates are the first in their family to earn a college degree. One hundred and three of our students are graduating today with a perfect 4.0 GPA. And 50 of our graduates are veterans. Although most of our graduates are from Texas, this graduating class includes students from 40 states. Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Nevada, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, and Wisconsin. We have graduates today from 21 countries. 
Belgium, Belize, Brazil, China, Congo, Ecuador, El Salvador, Ghana, India, Indonesia, Israel, Korea, Mexico, Niger, Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, Thailand, Turkey, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Vietnam. Commencement is an important ceremony for the candidates who will receive their academic degrees today. It's also a significant event for the candidates' families and friends who have supported their efforts to achieve their academic goals. If you are a family member of one of the individuals who's graduating today, please stand at this time so that the candidates and the rest of us can honor you. Thank you. I will now ask uh, Elise Tolley, student body president and graduation, graduating at this ceremony to offer her greetings. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, what an honor and pleasure it is to be here today with each and every one of you to celebrate the soon-to-be graduates seated in front of me. Today is the day that each of us look forward to from the moment we start college. Today we acknowledge the hard work, the commitment, the dedication and passion each student has put in over their time here at WT. Today is very exciting as I will be graduating and so will one of my closest friends. Emily Howe, thank you for all the memories these past three, year, three years. You are an incredible friend and are going to do wonderful in absolutely everything that you do. I'm proud to call you a sister and I love you. I also would like to take some time to personally thank my parents. Dave and Cherie Tolley, my siblings, and extended family who is both here and watching this special moment. I would not be who I am without each of you. Last but not least, I'd like to thank all of my friends and my boyfriend, Kaylor, for always pushing me to be the best version of myself. Graduates, look around. You all have so many people here today celebrating your journey and your accomplishments. Soak this memory in, enjoy this moment, and think about your time here as a Buffalo. To those here today in the audience, I want to thank each of you on behalf of these graduates. Your endless love and support does not go unrecognized. The effort of getting to this point was not always easy, and oftentimes many challenges arose and had to be overcome. However, today marks and shows how this was all worth the sweat and tears. Graduates, please think about this. We are often in a hurry. A hurry to be done with homework, a hurry to be done with school, a hurry to move on to something else. I'm sure many of you are in a hurry for me to be done speaking so you can graduate. Andy Bernard from the office says, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. Don't always be in a hurry. Enjoy and live in the moment. Tomorrow will come, I promise. West Texas A&M University has given us endless memories that we will take with us and cherish forever. I know without a doubt that West Texas A&M University has prepared each of us for this next chapter of our lives. Once again, I want to say congratulations to each of you and your many accomplishments. I wish you the best of luck in your future. May God always guide your path. And as always, God bless and go bus. Thank you, Elise. And now to bring greetings from the Alumni Association, please welcome Wilson Lemieux. You guys don't have to forgive me, I'm battling a cold. Um, I'd like to think that I sound a little bit like Matthew McConaughey, but I don't think that's the case. So I don't want to waste any time, let's hop to it. So today is a very special day. Today, you graduates go from being served to being servants. And I'm sure that sounds a little strange at first, so let me kind of expound on that idea. So many of you will leave today and go straight into the workforce. Your job will be to serve the customer or the client or your boss or the patient or insert anything here and the same can be said. Some of you will own your own businesses and if that's the case, then you will actually serve many, many more people. Um, for the past three, four, five years, or in the case of the 19 year old, three weeks that you were on campus. <laughs> During that time, whether it felt like it or not, you as students have been served by your faculty, the staff, your friends and family, certainly in attendance today. 
The aforementioned groups of people have been dedicated to watching you succeed for quite some time now. And I'm not saying that all the success you've seen up to this point at WT has not come from your own hard work, your dedication, perseverance, and a few late nights and barely turned in on time papers. Make no mistake, you've earned today, and for that you should be very proud. What I am saying is that we are fools if any of us feel as though we are self-made. There is not one person here, whether in a cap or gown or in the audience, that has made it to this point in their life without the help of others. So now, after all this time at WT, reaping the benefits of your own personal effort and the service of so many others, it's your turn to start thinking about what it means to serve, and in this context, what it means to serve the legacy of WT. One day, quite possibly very soon, you'll be in a position to give, and I don't just mean money, but I also mean time. If ever you feel the desire, I implore you to lean into that. I'm a firm believer that if we've seen success in life, it's our obligation to send that elevator back down to the next generation of Buffaloes. As you walk the stage, accept your diploma and exit. Your fellow West Texas A&M alumni will be there to greet you, pin you with an alumni pin, welcome you to the WTAMU Alumni Association. Wonderful things will continue to happen here at WT, and as an alumnus, as someone that's part of the WT Alumni Association, I'm begging you to be a part of it. There's so many great things going on at WT right now, and there's never been a better time, in my opinion, to be a Buffalo, whether you're in the Texas Panhandle or across the globe. Big things are happening here, and how awesome is it that we get to be a part of that? I'm gonna ask you all to clap because I know you're not going to, so like, everybody clap really quick. Take hold of your future because it is yours. But let us not ever forget where we came from or who helped to pave the way before us. This university's legacy, your legacy, the legacy of our future, is very much so dependent on what we as alumni decide to give back to a place that has given us so very much. Congratulations, graduates, and as the song says, on, on, Buffalo. Thank you, Wilson. It is now my pleasure to introduce the 11th president of West Texas A&M University, Dr. Walter Windham. Good afternoon to all of you, graduates, family, friends, faculty, and staff. Before I start my formal remarks, I want to do two things. First, this is a university campus, so I want to apologize to all of you for where some of you have had to park today. Russell Long Boulevard is a construction zone from here all the way to the other end. And I know some people have had to park on the edges of it, and it's a little bit rough. But that is the cost of progress. There's a lot going on right now at West Texas a Secondly, and much more importantly to me, this is Mother's Day weekend. I would like everyone who's a mother to please stand, whether you're a student, a faculty, or a staff, or a member of the audience, and let all of us show our appreciation to our moms. <laughs> And now, to all of you graduates, what good work you have undertaken to get to this place on this day, right here, right now. You are part of a community. I have confidence in you, I have confidence in us, all of us, and in our collective work, what you all have done and what we do. There is a shifting public perception regarding the value of universities, both to society, to society in general as a public good and to individuals as a private good. All this according to a recent Gallup poll. Too many think it's not what it used to be, but those too many are too wrong. Today, all of you receive a certification, a diploma. I like to think of it as a stock certificate. You are now part owners have made an investment 
in West Texas, A&M University. You are part of a community, imperfect to be sure in too many ways, but a community nonetheless. Always striving to improve itself and get better. When we do, it increases the value of your diploma, of your stock certificate. There is skepticism regarding college and its value. Likewise, banks, the presidency, religious enterprises are perceived at times with cynicism. Congress is in the basement with an 11 percent approval rating. The same survey records the military as being held in the highest esteem by 74 percent of the registered voters. Cynicism runs too high for too many, but not, not for me. I am hopeful for all of you. I know many of you. I know the places you call home. This knowledge allows my hope to be built on a foundation, on a strong foundation of good cause. That is what a community does. It creates good cause. To be sure, the benefits of universities are both economic and non-economic, and simultaneously both public and private. Lifetime earnings of college graduates are higher, thereby creating a public and private economic benefit. Faculty, staff, and student spending near campuses is significant, but at times difficult to fully understand and calibrate. And so is the joy of study and learning. We forget that at our peril. We forget the importance of being challenged intellectually, of expressing difficult beliefs and ideas that are held dearly by so many. That is the crust of this biscuit from my perspective. One overriding cause of these challenges is that universities have, by design or default, work to become more similar to each other rather than more distinctive from each other. Not at WT, not on my watch. We will not leave valuable geographic and cultural influences to lie fallow. Those seated behind me, these faculty and the staff that work to make this event possible today won't let that happen. And you won't either. You've got an investment here, remember you hold stock. You and those on this stage are the source of my confidence and my hope for the future of all of us and for the institution of higher learning. This pervasive pattern permits legislative, permeates legislative thinking. State houses use one set of measurements to assess all universities and their effectiveness. Those metrics applied independently of culture and circumstance fall short every time. The idea that all students start college at 18 years old and finish, preferably by the time they're 22, works on some campuses, but not all. It's not good for an institution like ours that encourages transfer from a community college or encourages students to work and study at the same time to help reduce debt when they complete their studies or our appeal to single parents who work and study all the while caring for a family. These are tough challenges, and they're not the challenges of my parents or my grandparents. The world is changing. All of you and your diversity of experience and culture make WT proud to be WT. You create a community, not of like-minded automatons, but people committed to something larger than themselves. Setting expect expectations fitted to mission requires honest and open reflection on purpose, cost, and the ability to serve those who come calling. That would be all of you. Confidence in universities will grow when measures of effectiveness respond to institutional purpose and setting, and again, to all of you. No other university provides what you have received and what we mark today. The experience of being a buffalo on top of being a skilled historian or writer, teacher, nurse, engineer, musician, business leader, or agriculturalist all has great value. 
This is a necessary and absolutely relevant consideration regarding our purpose and the benefit that all of you receive from it. Cash Wilson, who's graduating today with a degree in corporate communication and a minor in social work, is a good example. He joined our community. He is not like anyone else. He is a New Jersey boy who came to WT by way of Pal Farley's Boys Ranch at the age of 16 from a broken, shattered home. I won't go into the details of this experience. John Mark Bellew did that recently in a piece published on WT's website. But the details are breathtaking, breathtaking, and illuminating what belonging to a community can do for an individual. And all of you are part of this community now more than ever. From foster care to buffalohood, he had a chance for a redo. He took it, he made choices, he made progress, and he finished something of great value. Results like this require transparency from the university, a commitment to mission and purpose that recognizes distinctiveness and strength, not weakness. When embraced, this simple institutional reality leads to forte, not failure. Challenges and responses to those create muscle, not fat. You all before me, before all of us, who work to represent the best of WT, embody the high purpose of our work. And it is truly a high purpose. We are proud of you. We pray that pride is returned, that you are proud of what you have accomplished. And I would hope, proud of us, even in our imperfections. And there are more than a few. Shakespeare's timeless counsel from the lips of Polonius to the ears of Laertes supplies here. This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the day follows the night. Thou cannot then be false to any man. Thank you for your attention to this brief reflection on our purpose and for allowing me to share our institutional pride in your personal achievements. May God bless each of you on this day and in your unfolding futures. And May God bless West Texas A&M University. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Winter, for your comments. We have now come to that point in the program that we've all been waiting for. In a few minutes, the graduates will be coming forward to receive their degrees. As the graduates complete their walk across the stage today, the WT Alumni Association will present them with an alumni lapel pin. Past WT graduates, including Ms. Angela Allen, our Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, will be pinning the students, signifying their official induction as a WT alumnus. Always remember, graduates, that you're part of the WTA and you family. Stay connected wherever life takes you and come home often. After I certify the candidates, the university president will officially confer the degrees. Dr. Yvette Castillo, Associate Professor of Education, will announce the name of each candidate for a degree as they come forward to receive their diplomas. At this time, I would like all of the candidates for the doctoral and master's degrees to please rise. President Windler, on behalf of the graduate faculty at West Texas A&M University, I certify that these candidates have met the requirements for their various graduate degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of West Texas A&M University as just transmitted to me by Dr. Schaefer and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Chancellor, and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System, I take pleasure in conferring upon each of you whose names are on the official roster, the appropriate doctoral and master's degrees with all the corresponding rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Thank you, you may be seated. I would now ask the marshals to begin escorting the doctoral and master's degree candidates to the stage. 
During this part of the ceremony, the dissertation advisor will place a hood on the doctoral candidate, and the dean of each college will place a hood on each master's degree candidate. This tradition started centuries ago. The colors on the hood, hoods represent the university colors as well as the discipline of the degree. Dr. Castillo, please introduce the doctoral and master's degree recipients. from the Paul Engler College of Agriculture and Natural Sciences, hooded by Dr. Bonnie Pendleton, Hame Abdu Kadi Kadi, Agricultural Doctor of Philosophy, assessing management strategies to control major storage insect pests of sorghum grapes. Doctor of Philosophy, Agriculture, Dexter James Tomazak, hooded by Dr. John Richardson. Nutritional management strategies to improve performance and health during the feedlot receiving period. Doctor of Philosophy, Agriculture, Nathan James Wolf, hooded by Dr. Kevin Williams, an industry assessment of employability skills needed in concentrated animal feeding operations of the swine, dairy, and fed beef industries. from the Paul Engler College of Agricultural and Natural Sciences, hooded by Dr. Kevin Pond, Dean of the College. Mandy Lynn Boychuk, Agriculture. Clinton Ray Caldwell, Plant, Soil, and Environmental Science. Justin Ryan Dockle, Environmental Science. Jordan Allen Isom, Animal Science. Zane Scott Jenkins, Plant, Soil, and Environmental Science. Janine L. Johnson, Agriculture. Hannah Alexis Seaver, Animal Science. <laughs> Taylor Morgan Smock, Animal Science. and Keitha Venkata Reddy, Environmental Science. Morgan Young, Agriculture.
from the Paul and Virginia Angler College of Business, hooded by Dr. Neil Terry, Dean of the College, Michael Charles Bonner, Professional Accounting, Omar Gouosa, Professional Accounting, Easton Lynn Hunter, Professional Accounting. Tomas Omar Morales, Professional Accounting. Megan Nicole Reed, Professional Accounting. Carlos Arias, General Business. Richard A. Barras, General Business. Julie Ann Barrett, Computer Information Systems. Jolly Dawn Blackwell, General Business. M. Keith Brown, Business. Fidel Brosiaga IV, General Business. Diane Michelle Burnett, General Business. Karthikian Shavarki Thi, Computer Information Systems. Wendy Kathleen Christ, Healthcare Management. Ashina Chanel Cross, General Business. Robert M. DiDio, Healthcare Management. Ricardo Diaz, General Business. Jessica Ann Dubose, General Business. James Michael Ducharme, General Business. Rogelio M. Florentino, General Business. Eleonora M. Fuji, General <coughs> Business. Lulit Gebru, General <coughs> Business. <coughs> Danielle Pueblo Hartman, <coughs> Healthcare <coughs> Management. Joseph D. Higby, General oh. Business. <coughs> Brett Joseph Hines, Management. <laughs> Brian Townsend Hudson, General Business. <coughs> Clidayo Jinchuchot, Marketing. Christopher Ryan Johnson, Healthcare Management. Camille Alexandria Jones, General Business. Jessica Angelique Kelly, General Business. Scott D. Kumalats, Management. Holly Beth Lyles, General Business. Oh. 
Trace Anthony Livingood, General Business. Davin William Marceau, Management. Amanda Suzanne Martinez, General Business. Jenny Matthew, Healthcare Management. Anna McKee, General Business. Kyle Thomas McKnight, General Business. Morgan Lee Moore, General Business. Danielle Morgan, General Business. James C. Naylor, General Business. Zui An Win, Marketing. Napatasorn Payasonchoripat, Marketing. Giovanni Peters, General Business. Guadalupe Reyes, Healthcare Management. Lee James Richard, Healthcare Management. Salim Wahab Sheikh, General Business. Tiffany Marie Cheryl, Management. Jay Rich Sparks, General Business. Gina Huen Lu Sugimoto, General Business. Jonathan David Terry, General Business. Joelle David Therian, General Business. Tania Crystal Townsend, Management. George Christian Webster, General Business. Ariana L. Weir, General Business. Amy Elaine Zevenbergen, General Business. Omar Khalid Al Bakar, Accounting. Michaela Danae Hashki Shenier, Accounting. Sandra M. Mitchell, Accounting. Shelby Nicole Moore, Accounting. Christopher T. Ferguson, Finance and Economics. Megan Moore, Finance and Economics. Jason David Needham, Finance and Economics. Wanwanash Piluk, Finance and Economics. 
Sarah Catherine Sparks, Finance and Economics. Javon Sunardi, Finance and Economics. Hoi Tham Tham Tan, Finance and Economics. Barris Yildirim, Finance and Economics. Will all of the new doctoral and master's graduates please rise? Let's have a round of applause for our May 2019 doctoral and master's degree graduates from West Texas A&M University. Thank you. Please be seated. When the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees cross the stage in a few minutes, you will notice that many of them are wearing stoles or cords. At West Texas A&M University, we support diversity in all its forms. The donning of the stoles is a ceremony for graduates from international and culturally diverse backgrounds. During the ceremony, students are recognized by their family and friends for their accomplishments. A family member places a stole, either a kente, a serape, or an international stole representing their culture on their graduating student. If you are a student who participated in this donning ceremony last night, please stand at this time to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Next, a student who maintains a grade point average of 3.5 or higher is considered an honor graduate. Honor graduates are recognized at commencement by a gold honor cord. I ask that all of our honor candidates please stand at this time to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Finally, graduates who are veterans wear a red, white, and blue cord. Could I please have all the veterans who are graduating this afternoon please stand at this time to be recognized. Okay, now I would like all of the candidates for the bachelor's degrees to please rise. <laughs> President Windler, on behalf of the faculty of West Texas A&M University, I certify that all of these candidates have met the requirement for their respective baccalaureate degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of West Texas A&M University, as just transmitted to me by Dr. Schaefer and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University system, I take pleasure in conferring upon each of you whose names are on the official roster the appropriate baccalaureate degrees with all the corresponding rights, privileges, 
and in responsibilities. You may be seated. I would now call upon the marshals to begin directing the baccalaureate candidates to the stage. Dr. Castillo, Dr. Castillo will now introduce the baccalaureate graduates from each college. From the Paul Engler College of Agricultural and Natural Sciences, Bachelor of Science, Antonio Adame. Caitlin Beth Adams. Bernice Altamariano. Reina Ayala. Alec Ray Baldwin. Amy Benavong. Claudia Gisela Barrera. Rebecca Bertran, Atterbury Honors Scholar in Biochemistry. Andrew Robert Bixel. Catherine Elizabeth Bingle, Atterbury Honors Scholar in Biology. Sonny James Bohannon. Abigail Victoria Bolton. Bryce Boyd. Shelby Brooke Branscombe. Lauren Mackenzie Brown. Lauren Haley Brown. Madison Faith Bryant. Emily Gail Burris. Krista Nicole Caldwell, Atterbury Honors Scholar, Biology. Jaime Alejandro Chavira Munoz. Garrick Chinis Plant. Laura Jean Porter. Andrew Cornett. Nicolette. Athea Colson. Michael Angelo Crunel. Corey Brandon Davis. Tally Davis. Corey Frankie Dayish. Kelby K. Dean. <laughs> Leslie Denise Dominguez. <laughs> Caitlin Grace Doty. <laughs> Nathan Douthit. <laughs> Lane Drinnen. Charles Draylen Duke. Elizabeth Ann Earl. 
Serene Falcone. Catherine Renee Feikak. Kayla Elizabeth Fisher. Larsha Monique Flowers. Robert Mitchell Ford. Kyle Lamar Fouché. Alexis Elaine Franco. Caitlin Margaret Frizzell. Kylie Mason Futson. Lena Gail Garrison. Aubrey Kate Gibson. Luis Javier Gordines. Leanne Paige Gray. Benjamin Joe Hamer. Samantha Marie Harris. Roderick Hatcher II. Lillian Paige Hatfield. Jessica Marie Heckman. Emily Faith Howell. Derek Itzinga. Angelica Christina Johnson. Nicole Ann Johnson. Kelsey Marie Jones. Suzanne Rose Jones. Peyton Louise Kelly. Abigail Lynn Kennedy. Amanda Marie Kleeman. Jordan Ray Knight. Lindsay Dawn Lampkin. Sierra Julianne Lanier. Kaylee Brianna Lewis. Ellis Ray Linke. Jessica Marie Lumen. Catherine Michelle Luft. Ethan Robert Lusk. Aaron Beth Martinez. Rolando Martinez. Faith Leah Massingill. Lauren Marie Mayer. Megan Elizabeth Mayfield. Kyler David McAnally. Andrea Bernice Meter. Coy Elizabeth Mercer. Coral Ray Merlot. Alexis Leela Metzger. Crystal Nicole Moss. 
Whitney Lauren Nolan. Nora Mahan Norris. Negita A. Padilla. Abel Palacios. Nayetsi Palma. Victoria Beth Parker. Annika Noel Parks. Brooke Leanne Parrish. Elizabeth Renee Fannebecker. Jessica Ray Pittman. Justin A. Reyna. Brianna Ritchie. Ashley Jane Rice. Caitlin Joe Richardson. Brandon Luis Rivera. Michaela Dawn Robertson, Atterbury Honors Scholar in Biology. Belen Robledo. Charles Lee Rosebrew. Eric Rivero. Jonathan Emery Lawrence Russell. Jacob Douglas Sanchez. Steven Daniel Santos. <laughs> Hank Randall Schofield. Ariel Nicole Severson. <laughs> Lindsay Von Sharp. Max Harrison Shaw. Jamie Nicole Seifert. Luke Adam Smith. Shelby Sturgis. Justin Ray Tate. Emily Marie Thompson. Abby Amelia Teakin. <laughs> Rebecca Noemi Trevino. John C. Turner. Ben Lee Jiang Jojaha. Lindsay Elizabeth Vandy Streak. Nathan Andrew Vidmar. Hayden Mark Vogler. Kaylee Christine Waddle. Ryan Lee Wall. Kent Cornegay Weatherly. Hannah Nicole Wellman. Whitney Brooke West. Andrew Robert White. Bobby Allison Wiersema. Shane Douglas Zamora.
from the College of Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Fabio Atiputra. Omar Aguirre. Mercedes Hatsun Alatorre. Randy Don Allen. Nicole Andrea Alzarte. Blaze Marie Anderson Miller. Logan Jerome Aragon. Ivy Miri Arnenas. Ahari Ashumani. Rigoberto Emanuel Baeza. William M. Bailey. Jordan Joel Barbosa. Kimberly McDaniel Barney. Cheyenne Leslie Becker. Seth Emerson Bigany. Brigan Lewis Beecher. Donia Blackenberg. Deidre Blendon. Justin Michael Britling. Colton Lee Brock. Vaden Mitchell Carthel. Jose Alfonso Cavazos. Adrian Zuriel Cervantes. Brennan Von Chapman. Brandon Paul Childers. Kaylee Miranda Contreras. Bradley Dennis Cleveland. Stephen Andrew Coffey. Hunter Ryan Kaufman. Ashton Leanna Comp. Tanner Addison Cood. John Patrick Colwell. John David Cunningham. Kevin DeAnda. Hayden Ty Dennis. Michelle Margaret Downs. Sarah Nicole Draper. Thomas James Dunsmore. Jahira Lisette Duran. Heather Edwards. Jocelyn Mavel Egbert. Katie Lynn Fangman. Michael Anthony Figueroa. Garrison J. Fishbacher. Casey Charles Fletcher. Max Antonio Flores. Roy Taylor Folsom. 
Nathan Jarrett Forrest, Allison Ray Fry, Ana Elvia Garay, Frank John Garcia, Bryce Tanner Gardenhire, Juan Carlos Gonzalez, Madeline Claire Grawl, Shelby Nicole Hensley, Jasmine Ariana Hernandez, Angelique Elena Hare, Bradley A. Holland, Sabra Diane Howell, Andrew Keys Huff, Morgan Don Ivy. Maria Victoria Jimenez. Elisa Kendra Jerome. Rhonda Leah Johnson. Camber J. Kerbo. Maria Nicole Kinoff. Ja Me La. Chaz Kirkland Lehman. Cesario Antonio Lona. Emma Macy Malone. Carl Joseph Marbach. Garrett Ross Martin. Shelby Rochelle McCormick. Colton Scott McMains. Vanessa Mendoza. Seth Garrett Miller. Samantha Marie Moreno. Isaac Munoz. Jonathan David Murphy. Juan Nam Quinn. Kyle James Norton. Alexis Arolio Oliva. Tomas Ordas. Gabriela Zubia Orona. Corey Allen Orthengren. Alicia Morgan Owen. Alejandra Magale Pacheco Lopez. Tiana Nicole Parker. Ashlyn Paige Pascal. Rosa Guadalupe Viña. Stephen Dakota Potts. Colby Lane Price. 
Ryan Quaid. Mitzi Guadalupe Ramirez. Ariana Rangel. Andrea Luz Rascón. Alex Roder. Luis Alexis Rodriguez. Jessica Danielle Romo. Candice Rowland. Amanda Ruiz. Saul Salas. Christian Ariel Santana. Jordan Andrew Sapien. Darren Joseph Schumann. Sydney Aaron Smith. Aaron Ray Smith. Oscar Soto. Peyton Noel Spencer. Jacob William Sukers. <laughs> Ashley Lauren Sugar. Owen R. Sutherland. Ezekiel Jordan Swanson. Brittany Christine Tolan. Matthew Shane Treadway. Jessica Isabel Trin. Brennan Robert Umstead. Julio Vargas Luna. Rafael Tevich, Mayra Vasconcielos. Adriana Lucia Vasquez. Trevor David Lee V. Colleen Kersey Walter. Mark Cody Warren. Braden Scott Watson. Cheyenne Kathleen Webster. Lauren Lee Weddington. Thornton Douglas West. Austin David White. Christy Chanel White. Shelby Ann Wilburn. Byron Keith Wilts. Marcus Taylor Zeiler. Noel Petty Rodriguez. Elise Dion Tolly. Travis Reese Whitaker. Atterbury Honors Scholar, Economics. Person to 
Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, camera two, get ready. Will all of the new baccalaureate graduates please stand? Oh, God, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. You may now signify your graduation by turning the logo on your class ring outward to face the world and by moving the tassel on your mortarboard from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for the May 2019 Baccalaureate graduates. And now, if all of today's graduates could please stand for one final round of applause. All of the graduates, thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to acknowledge and thank Dr. Guli Manfredi, Associate Professor of Music and our very talented brass choir for the music this afternoon. Thank you. I would also like to thank our faculty marshals, Dr. Carolyn Boma, Associate Professor of Biology, Ms. Karen Cooley, Instructor of Accounting, Dr. Bridget Guerrero, Assistant Professor of Agricultural Business and Economics, Dr. Lance Keith, Professor of Agricultural Education and Head of the Department of Agricultural Sciences, Dr. Leslie Ramos Salazar, Assistant Professor of Business Communication, and Dr. Mallory Bestel, Associate Professor of Agricultural Business and Economics. Thank you for your hard work today. In a few seconds, I will ask that you rise and join in the singing of our alma mater, led by Dr. Robert Hansen. Please note that the words are printed on page 19 of your program and should appear on the screen behind me as well. To ensure the safety of all of our guests, we ask that you please remain seated after the, alumni, uh, after the alma mater until all of the graduates have filed out, and then you may meet your graduate uh, outside the building. Please rise. <laughs> 